Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. So, I was planning on making another video, and I did. And it was supposed to go up before this one, but then Mattel decided to drop Draculaura today. Vampire Heart Draculaura. We discussed this doll, I think, earlier this week, I want to say it was. It wasn't that long ago. This doll was found at an Amazon warehouse, which... Hey, wait. Why is she for pre-order if somebody found her at the warehouse? Okay, we'll get into that later, but um, Mattel posted the doll. We now have full photos of the doll in her outfit. We have full photos of her box. Let's get into it. You know exactly what I'm talking about, and if you don't, why did you click on the video? That was a joke. Let's, let's just start. So this is Vampire Heart Draculaura. If you recognize her face, that's because it was originally used on Haunt Couture Draculaura. This is the same screening, albeit with a different lip color and different makeup entirely but it's the same general screening, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, she's got rooted eyelashes, she's got some pink streaks in her hair, it's a very pale pink, and her dress is huge. It's just a massive ball gown, and it looks so nice. <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen anything like this from Monster High before. Uh, the fanciest doll that we had gotten before this doll would definitely be Draculaura's first collector doll. Um, I don't remember what that doll was called, but it was like, she was on a taller body with um, a chest joint. She had a big hat on her head. It was like that. So the name of this doll is Vampire Heart. And this doll has been described by her designer, Annalise Lau, the designer of, um, is that how you say her last name? I hope I'm right. But um, it was the designer of Gulag Skulia, the same designer who also does these Ultimate Secrets dolls and Gulag Skulia. She designed this doll. And she is described as a what-if scenario, similar to what Ever After High would do with their Comic-Con dolls, where basically, what if Draculaura was the Vampire Queen? And that's what this doll is. I just can't believe they went this hard for a what-if scenario. She looks insane. The dress is huge. The details are just... Oh my god, I don't even know where to start, dude. She's got this giant ball gown cage skirt with all these ruffled layers of fabric. She's got all these intricate designs. Oh my god, there's just so much going on, I can't even find the words for it. <laughs> and then look at this back view, dude. The dress is insane. It's huge. I don't even know where I'm gonna put this doll if I unbox her. Oh, I should probably talk about the price. Okay, so this doll is $100, and she's an Amazon exclusive, and she's currently available for pre-order. She's not set to ship until um, October 13th, so she's a Friday the 13th release. I pre-ordered her just because I was worried she would sell out, and um, as of the time that I'm making this video, her pre-order is still open. It seems like she might be made to order, so you might not have to worry about her selling out. And if you need a link to the doll, Monster High has posted it on their Instagram account, and I'm sure somebody will comment it, and I'll pin that when it happens. So. Doll is very readily available, but the price is definitely a bit high. I posted a poll to my Instagram just to see what people thought. I was like, is this a good price? Is it too high? So I'm just going to check that very quickly. Let's see what the ratio is at. 45% uh, of people say that the price is worth it, and 55% say that the price is too high. It's honestly a lot more split than I was expecting it to be. But yeah, this is that's that's where we're at right now. This doll has a lot of details. Like, look at these stockings, not stockings. Look at the leggings, look at the shoes. This shoe sculpt is just so pretty. I love the bats. I love the texture. It's just a very pretty shoe sculpt. I like it. Her dress is gorgeous. She's got a little rose at her bodice. She's got these very nice like bat wing chandelier earrings going on. There's little pearls lining the dress. It's just and then look at her headpiece, dude. She's wearing the vampire heart. Well, actually, it might not be the vampire heart because Rebecca has that in her body. Be kind of fucked up if Dracula just ripped her friend's heart out of her body and wore it as a, as a headpiece. But um, it seems to be like a pink version of it, so I guess it's like a replica. There's a ton of little heart charms hanging off of it. It's got like this pink-black ombre going on. It's just... God, dude, there's so much to detail put into this doll. Mm. She has one of those stands. You guys called it a saddle stand, but I'm going to stick with crotch stand. 
She's got one of those stands that go on her crotch, and it makes sense for once, because you're not gonna get one around her waist with this huge dress in the way. It's just not happening, dude. So, um, hopefully it's made of a good plastic, a nice reinforced one that won't break as easily, because I've mentioned this before, but those saddle stands are just not good. They break very easily, and unless they're made of, like, a more malleable plastic, like, usually when it's, like, a foggy plastic, when it's, like, just clear, like, acrylic plastic, it breaks very easily. But when it's, like, sort of foggy, it's a bit softer and doesn't break as easily. So it looks like it's, like, a bit foggier. I don't know. I just hope that this doll's stand doesn't break very easily. I don't even know. If, again, I don't know where I'm gonna put this doll if I do unbox her. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. This Draculaura has to be one of the most detailed things Mattel has put out ever. Like, for Monster High at least. Like, obviously Barbie has had way more detailed dolls than this, but I just am in awe. I honestly don't know what to say. This doll has a very pretty, intricate hairstyle. She's got gorgeous dark makeup. She's just so gothic. Like, this doll is just so gothic, and it's honestly what we've been needing from Monster High for a while. Uh, some people have been saying that the goth vibes have kind of just flown out the window. To that, I present this doll. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what the point was, though. So this box design is just gorgeous. I really love how rounded it is, and it absolutely makes sense, because her dress is so big, you need to have, like, space for it in there. It's just beautiful. Like, everything about it is just very nice. I love the way this box looks. Um, I believe it was designed by um, Diane Leto and someone else. Annalise posted it on her story. Um, where is it? Uh, she says that Miss Diane Leto, that's her username, and Polgy, those are their usernames. Oh, Diana Leto. So yeah, the designers did a great job on this box. It looks so nice. I always try to appreciate package design just because I love Monster High packaging. Like, I don't know what it is, but Monster High is just very good with packaging most of the time. Obviously, there's a couple, um, like, I'd say underwhelming ones here and there. Like, for example, Gulag's Gulia did unfortunately have a very simplistic box, but the Honko Tor dolls have great packaging. Even just the original 2010 Monster High dolls had gorgeous boxes, you know? So it's nice to see that they're still trying with the boxes. I like the way this one looks. I also just keep coming back to her shoes because the sculpt work is amazing. There's so many talented people that like throw their hat in the ring to make these dolls. It's just, God, all the detailing on this doll. I don't even, again, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, I don't know how to describe the parts of a ball gown, so I can't even comment on the stuff I like. I like her puffy sleeves, I like the rose on her bodice, I like how the dress is just mostly black, but I also like how, like, it's kind of see-through at the middle and you can see her legs through the dress, it just looks really cool. It makes me wonder how this dress is put together, you know? Like, I really want to, like, see somebody, like, kind of remove the dress from the doll, just so we can see, like, if things are separate pieces, if it's all attached, you know, I'm just really curious about the construction of this giant gown. I just want to know. In short, though, this doll is amazing, and I might sound crazy for saying this, because I'm usually like, oh, it should be cheaper, but with how extravagant this doll is, I feel like a hundred almost kinda maybe makes sense. <laughs> Obviously, we've gotten more for a hundred dollars before. I'd say usually from other lines though, but yeah, overall gorgeous doll. I, I, I'm excited to get her. As I mentioned, she will be releasing on October the 13th, which is a Friday, which is just very fitting. Friday the 13th makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. This doll is gorgeous and I can't wait to hold her in my grubby little hands. There's been so much going on lately with Monster High. Like, there's been so much new dolls, so much doll news. I don't even know what to say. Like, I can't wrap my head around it. <laughs> this Draculaura is amazing. As soon as she leaked, I had a feeling that she was just going to be absolutely stunning because facially she already was. But the reveal of her whole dress, it's just... Mm, it's too good, man. It's just... It's too good. It's too good, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
I cannot wait for this doll to be released. I can't wait to get her in my hands. And while I do think 100 is just kind of a lot of money, just a bit, you know, just kind of like, just like a little overdoing it, I don't think I mind having paid that just because I really want this doll in my hands. So yeah, this doll is currently available on Amazon for pre-order. I don't think she's going to sell out anytime soon because I feel like it would have happened by now if she was going to sell out. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's where we're at. So um, again, I don't really have the link on me, but I'm sure somebody will comment it. If you really want it, just go on Monster Eye's Instagram and it is linked in their stories. It's linked on their profile. It's very accessible. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Monster High news. And as always, that's it. That's it. I don't, I don't know why I said as always. Bye!